I want to ask, a robot doesn't have ego. So now, what is the intersection between the urge to be f towards freedom and your ego? You could say, the robot does have an ego planted into it by its designer. Hmm? Therefore, the ego of the robot is totally in bondage and therefore choiceless. You could either say the robot has no ego and that would be perfectly correct. Or you could say the robot has an ego, a sense of I. What is ego? A sense of I. 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 The robot has an ego that cannot choose. We utter I. We utter I exist. I am. And this I amness could either be robotic or real. It is robotic when your I amness is dependent on others. And if you feel threatened that if the other disappears or withdraws, the I amness itself will disappear. That's the slave ego. For example, I am rich. The, what is the ego? The I am thing is the ego. And if the ego says I am rich, and if the riches vanish for some reason, some reason, a stock market crash let's say, the fellow says oh my god I am gone because who was I? The rich one. And the riches have gone so I am dead. I am rich. Now strike out the word rich. What remains? Nothing. Huh? That's false ego. But most of us choose to live in this kind of false and dependent ego. Real ego is self-dependent, free. It does not find it necessary to identify itself with something. It does not experience a kind of vacuum that it must compulsorily fill up with something, anything, some trash. Many of us, for example, might be finding it difficult to just sit silently and listen. Because in the moment of silence, you have to say, I am. In fact, you don't even say, I am. There is just silence. And that's a threat to the ego. Because the ego must say something. I am X, I am Y. So the ego chooses to say, I am gossiping. Now, gossip makes the ego feel alive. Oh, I exist. Otherwise, there is the danger of inner death. Obviously, a false death. No real danger, actually. Do you get this? The way we are, the way we are born, we are born with the sense of I am. It is this sense of I am that works all life to gain fulfillment. Being unfulfilled is our condition right since birth. But we choose because of ignorance, fulfillment from the wrong kind, of, not even wrong, useless kind of sources. We choose to be associated with something that will fail in delivering fulfillment. Hmm? So I am rich or I am traveling, I am a tourist, I am a husband, I am a lover, 
आई एम एजुकेटेड आई एम इंटेलिजेंट आई एम हिंदू आई एम मुस्लिम आई एम मेल आई एम फीमेल आई एम स्मार्ट we want at all moments to associate ourselves with a certain identity in the hope that the association will bring fulfillment that association does not bring fulfillment because it is an exercise in the wrong direction we require not association but actually dissociation that is called freedom freedom is to dissociate yourself from all your dependencies would you remember this freedom is to dissociate yourself from your dependencies whereas the ego is constantly clamoring for more and more dependencies even the things that you call as your assets actually become your dependencies for example i own a rolls royce in language i seem to be implying that i am the master of the car but tell me one day the rolls royce isn't visible something has happened and you need to go from place a to place b and all that is available is a humble hero splendor what will happen to you think of your condition now who's the master and who's the slave who is the master were you the owner of the car no the car became so important to you you got dependent and now when the car is not there the car is not suffering you are suffering so who is the master the car is the master the ego chooses to associate associate achieve obtain accomplish thinking that all these associations will give it fulfillment no they don't freedom comes from dissociation and dissociation does not mean that you throw your rolls royce away freedom simply means that internally you are not dependent on the car for your identity the car is there if it needs to be i don't think mostly it needs to be there rolls royce kind of thing but even if it is there it is at your periphery mental periphery it does not become so important to you that you keep it at the center of your life similarly with persons you start idolizing someone ha huh? you call someone as your role model and that person becomes so important to you or because i'm talking to young people you fall in love and that person becomes your entire universe if not the entire universe at least the center of your universe that's the way of the ego to depend to constantly experience a hollow and look towards the world to somehow fill up that hollow can this fill up my hollow i i want to attain this so i'll work very hard to earn money to have this hoping that this will reduce my feeling of being unfulfilled rolls royce a higher degree a better paying job a bigger house a new boyfriend all these are in the same category the ego is using them to somehow get rid of its state of incompleteness but these efforts do not succeed what the ego really wants is freedom not association more associations will not make you feel better freedom from associations is what make you makes you come alive and freedom from associations does not mean being a loner it simply means not being a slave can't you be in a relationship without being a slave can there be a healthy and free relationship or do you really have to become somebody's pet dog for the relationship to exist right so that's a choice that you have 
Do you want to live in freedom? Or do you want to chase associations, assets, accomplishments all your life? The more you chase, the more you will be disappointed and suffer. Is this making sense? Or is it just too much and too fast? Huh? Not sure. <laughs> I hope this at least gives you a start. Hmm? You're young, you have long way to go and you have time. 